Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with really interesting challenges every day and today we have a very tricky challenge so everyone make this mistake and I want to record this video. So we have 140 minus 40 divided by 2, seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, we have subtraction, we have division, so everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. So go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section, we have A, B, C, so three options, choose one option, what do you think is the correct and write your option down into the comment section, it will be really interesting to check the answers in the end of the video. Okay, there are two types of students. So first type of student don't know about order of operation, they solve this question absolutely randomly, so they solve this question like that. So we have 140 minus 40 divided by 2. So here is our challenge, and we have this subtraction on the left hand side, so we subtract it first, so we have 140 minus 40 equal to 100, and we divide this 100 by 2. So one part of students solve this question like that, and they say that correct answer is, is 50. Okay, we have this 50, this is our option A, so one part of students solve this question like that. But I want you to understand that in maths we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, so we can solve this question randomly, we can solve this question whatever we want, so right now let's solve this question according to a correct order of operation. For example, in our case let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, scientific, graphing calculator works according to PMDMC and right now let's solve this question according to PMDMC. This PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, so parentheses have the highest priority and addition and subtraction the lowest priority. So first we evaluate parentheses, so the expression inside parentheses, then we evaluate exponents like squares, cubes, then we evaluate multiplication division group and then addition and subtraction group. So let's rewrite our challenge, so we have 140 minus 40 and divided by 2. So here is our challenge. So now let's scan what elements do we have right here in our question. So let's start from these parentheses. Parentheses have the highest priority, so let's find where do we have these brackets, where do we have these parentheses in our question. So for me personally, I don't see any of those, we don't have any parentheses, so let's skip this part, we don't have any parentheses. What about exponents? Maybe squares, cubes right here? No, I don't see any of those, we don't have any 40 to the power 12 to the power 20, like 2 square, 2 cubes, so we just skip this part, we don't have it, and we skip this part. The next step, we should evaluate multiplication and division groups. Right now we should find where do we have multiplication and division sign, let's look at it. So multiplication sign, I don't see any of those, and we find division sign, so right here we have this division sign, but we apply this division sign only to this 40 and 2, only to these two values, not to the whole expression, to these two values, 40 and so we find our division division sign right here, so this is our first step to divide 40 divided by 2. But if we go a little bit further, we have only subtraction sign, so we skip this addition part, and we have only subtraction part right here. So it looks like our second step is to subtract this 140 minus this, this division 40 divided by 2. So first step division, then subtraction. Let's do this. So we have 140 minus 40 divided by 2 equal to equal to 20 and we have 140 minus 20 so the last step subtraction equal to 120. So we have this answer, we have 120, so here is the main rule, division is before subtraction all the time, so we should evaluate division multiplication group and then addition and addition and subtraction group. So here is our answer 120, but one really important moment, we don't have this option right here, and then a lot of students goes back to this answer 50, they think that correct answer is 50, because we don't have 120 right here, they say correct answer is 50, but I want to say 50 is absolutely wrong solution, because we solve this question absolutely in the wrong order of operation, with parentheses this question will be correct, 50 will be a correct answer with parentheses, because we should start from this parentheses, we should start from this, uh, from this uh, subtraction, because subtraction is inside parentheses, okay? So first step, subtraction inside parentheses, because parentheses has the highest priority, and then divide by 2. So with parentheses, this question gives you answer 50. In our case we don't have parentheses, so we skip this part, we reject this option 50, which is absolutely wrong. Correct answer is 120, and if you're talking about option, we have 50, 90, what about this 5 factorial, because it's not the same as 150, 50 and uh, 120 is not the same as 50 and 90, but 5 factorial, this is a product from 1 to 5, yeah, so let's scan, where do we have, what do we have, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, and times 5, so we have 6, 6 times 4, we have right here 24, and 24 times 5, 120, so we have the absolutely the same value, so 5 factorial, this is the same as 120. So let's write our answer, our correct answer is option, option C is a correct answer to this, to this challenge, uh, where do we have this option, let's write it here, our, 
our answer. So I hope you understand this explanation, I hope you learn something new, and I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you choose this answer uh, 50, which is a really bad solution in terms of math, but sometimes happen, a lot of students choose this option, option A, which is absolutely wrong, but in our case, correct answer is option C. So, thank you for your time, have a great day, I hope you understand this explanation, and I hope you learn something new. See you in the next videos, and take care of yourself.